Hi and welcome to TMG Movie Reviews. Um, I'm Rick. I'm Andrew. And this is a movie, re movie review for Glass House, which came out in 2001. Yep, directed by Daniel Sackheim, written by the writer of Cape Fear, Wesley Strick, and starring Miss Lily Sobliski, who you might remember from Deep Impact, and um, was also an Eyes Wide Shut. Um, um, the Night Train. And The Night Train, which I haven't seen, but apparently is a very good film. So the story is, well, first of all, we'll give you this bit of backdrop. Um, this film came out in 2001 and it was the first film screen for critics after the tragedy of the November, September 11th attacks and it did extremely poorly at the box office. The reviews were less than stellar and I do think you shouldn't put that off seeing the film because I do think it was a lot to do with the fact after a tragedy like 9-11 the last thing people wanted to do was watch a thriller about imprisonment and about violence towards towards young people, so I think that's probably the reason why it wasn't the success it should have been, but don't let that put you off. No, I actually really enjoyed it. I really liked watching the film. Um, I thought the, the lead was good. I thought she played the role really well. Um, I also thought the villain, um, the, the, the yeah, so Terry, was, Terry Glass. Terry Glass, Don Skarsgård. Yeah, he, he played his role really well. He was Because um, he, he's so believable at the beginning as this really nice person, and then by the end of it, he, he's just... He's awful. <laughs> yeah, he's just completely snapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is um, in the end scene. You, you you do see him like he's he's just gone all um, he's gone all Jack Nicholson from The Shining. <laughs> and he's, just, he's just he's just climbing up this thing, this this rocky area, and from from the first scene in the film, you just can't picture that he's, that that's that's what he's going to become. He just it comes across as a genuinely nice guy, and it's just that good of an actor that he draws yeah, you in. He does. He's a terrific actor. Um, for those who don't know the plot, just briefly. Um, Lily Sobliski and her brother, her, their parents killed in a car accident, they're sent to live with foster parents, played by Stan Skarsgård and Diane Lane, and there's um, some very disturbing undercurrents to these new parents of theirs, and slowly but surely, as the plot moves along, we start to realise that the parents are not quite what they seem. Um, and I enjoyed, oh excuse me, sorry. No, I was just going to say, and that they also, um, it, it starts to turn out that they had an effect on the original parents, dying um, mm -hmm. they, they actually had a, they were involved in that yeah they had a hand in, in that yeah it's funny i used to work at blockbuster when i was in sixth form and we used to have shelves of films like the glass house of these you know thrillers teen thrillers you don't really get them anymore you don't see sort of films like this at the cinema you don't see them i don't know maybe they do them on, on demand but yeah they used to it's sort of a genre that's formed by the wayside i think yeah yeah it's a shame but it just really killed me was yeah things like the dial up internet pages you yeah. know just, the AOL logo. The AOL logo. It's like you forget that this film is what now fifteen years old now. <laughs> Good lord, it's it's. You do crazy. you do, when you're watching it, you do sort of realise like how cut off they actually are. Yeah, absolutely. It's not like they can go on Facebook and perhaps there is help, or they can't do a Twitter feed. No, this was. And because they are kids, I mean, it sort of, it sort of shows that how sort of victims they can be just by foster parents. I mean, they can they control sort of who who they speak to, where they go. I mean, at one point in the film, they actually. When she actually seems to click on to what's actually going on around her, and that the um, the two villains are actually after her and her brother's inheritance, they actually uh, drug her and then just keep her in the bed for like oh. uh, for we definitely know it's days, could be weeks, so we don't we're not really sure, but we do know she's drugged for sort of an extended period of time mm -hmm. where she's where just just to keep her quiet. Yeah, it's and cut it's off. Yeah, and something that I think in those days it would have been a lot easier to get with. These days, I don't know. Whether you could still get away with that, but especially sort of before you know, Facebook I don't think you can get away with drugging kids. To probably be, not. No. Let's well, hope good. not. Anyway, yeah, let's hope not. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I remember it coming out. I didn't see it at the time. I watched it recently, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a you know, it's a forgettable thrill, but it's good fun. It's the sort of film that'll keep you on your edge. And you know, I got I was hiding behind. I want shame to admit it, but I was hiding behind a pillow at one one or two points in the film when. Uh, Old Mr. Scar's guard was coming their way. He's a very, very intense actor. I don't know if you've seen The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I haven't met him yet. He's in that and it absolutely, just remembering him in that and then seeing him in this, he did freak me out. Yeah. Very intimidating presence. But yeah, very good thriller. Um, I really liked it. I, I, I just think it's it, sort of a, a really gripping story and definitely worth a watch. Yeah. So out, out, what would you review it out of five? Uh, three and a half out of five, I'd say. Yeah, good solid scare thriller. Yeah, I'm gonna go with four. I, I like I said, I really liked it. Thought it was a real good film. Um, maybe it does seem slightly dated with some of the some of the things some like of the references. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's even a reference to a fax machine at one point. <laughs> I don't. Think. We still use fax machines at work. I think we're the only place in the world that still does. 
But yeah, it's sort of, it's very much like um, you know another film that we'll review, Spy Hard. It's very much a film of its time. Yeah. You know the references to things that you know obviously now you could show this to to a 10, 12 year old and they wouldn't have a clue what a dial up internet was. I know, yeah. <laughs> how time, how, the, my, how times have changed. Anyway, please click subscribe and until next time, Man, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.